so many of our lawmakers claim to care so much about children and about the lives of unborn children. They want children to be born so badly. Are we going to care for the children once they're born? That is the question, because we can bring in children all day long. What are we going to do with them when they get here? These children in the United States, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them, millions of images mm -hmm. are passed around on a daily basis, sexually abusing children. These images are being used to traffic children for sex. And what are we doing about that? Right. I mean, to your point, I mean, just zooming out for me, this is about family planning and everyone having the right to raise a family how and when they would like. And raising a child is a lifelong commitment that has many factors at play. And what we're talking about today is one of those factors, right? And increasingly is a huge factor in our kids' lives. Like the generation that is our kids' age, they got phones or devices when they're seven, eight, nine years old, but the kids that are being born now, they most likely will have technology at a younger age. And this is something that will be a part of their lives for the majority of their lives. And how are we studying the regulatory environment? How are we designing the internet to keep children safe I mean, we could find ourselves waking up, you know, in 10, 20 years, having a child's negative experience online be, you know, a huge public health crisis. What is the effect of not just child sexual abuse, but bullying and the isolation that can occur when a child's relationship with technology isn't managed in the correct way? And so something that I think we as parents, we as voters need to educate ourselves on, have a position on and actively engage on, especially as we're thinking about where the Internet is headed with Web3 and Metaverse and all of this. We have a chance to create the Internet that we want for our kids, but we have to participate actively.